there is one thing that has remained constant on this channel and that is my constant message that loft is your friend and the shorter the shaft you have in hand the greater the control and what that meant was during this period one golf club in particular had disappeared from my own golf bag at least i haven't had a three wood in my bag well for as long as i can remember to be quite honest with you a relatively long shaft only 15 degrees of loft and virtually no versatility there was no reason in my mind why you should include a three wood in the bag me nor many other average golfers and then this happened You know, it's fair to say I officially love the Big Bertha 2023 lineup. And there's plenty of reason for that. You see, there isn't a club in their lineup that I haven't found to be incredible in terms of performance. And in my opinion, that's because they focus on three main things high launch, forgiveness, and ball speed. And the three wood is clearly no different and that starts because of the loft of 16 degrees which is a little bit weaker than traditional and the fact that we can crank this up by an extra two degrees makes this even more of a flexible club to have in the bag and i rarely say that about a three wood and then there is the length of shaft which again is quarter of an inch shorter than standard certainly that of the paradigm three wood in the same family but that then there are another couple of differences between the Big Bertha range and the Paradigm. And the major one being the difference in the head size. The 180cc head is on the Big Bertha and that's a slightly bigger sort of crown and overall profile than you'd normally expect. The Paradigm by equivalence is 171cc. So for a lot of golfers, this is gonna be a lot more confidence inspiring. But then there's another issue in a difference between these two clubs and that is the offset because there is a considerable amount of offset that you will see throughout the whole big bertha lineup and that is designed as you know to do one thing and that is an attempt to reduce the amount of slice or cut or fade or whatever you want to call it in your golf shots So this club is all about confidence inspiring whether that be from that high launch that you've just witnessed with a three wood that i would never expect to see then there is that head profile which again i've already mentioned inspires confidence and then there's that greater control from that shorter shaft that is in this three wood so everything that big bertha does in my opinion with this range is attempt at least to make the game more enjoyable and a little bit easier but they managed to do it in what is a fairly good looking profile in my opinion so although it's that 180 cc head it doesn't become a huge thing at all by any means and it's quite a flat and low profile which sits really nice on the turf especially when you're looking to play from the fairway and we'll talk about what it does in terms of that very very shortly crown is high gloss again prefer matte but that's what it is carbon a lot of it in that face uh, in that crown rather and in that face obviously we've got a lot of ai and jailbreak technology which you'd expect in all of the callaway fairway woods and uh, woods in general right now from the underneath i've already said on the other products it needs a bit of a revamp in my opinion just a little bit of a modernization it's got quite a dated look now but for the big bertha uh, traditionalists they're going to love what they're seeing that adjustability is key both up and down in terms of its versatility and the one thing they've not compromised although this is high launching the cg will be way back i'm not seeing it being super spinny and i'm seeing good ball speeds and the drive i've just hit or the tee shot you just hit see me hit off that last shot where it landed on the fairway was a considerable way down and surprised me a little just as to how far that had traveled so overall package is looking super good we've now like i said got to take this onto the fairway and see what it's like with 16 degrees aloft and that cg way back can we start to pick this ball up off the fairway and make it a club that is really worthwhile including in your bag setup today's video is brought to you in partnership with hot golf the online golf mega store bringing you the hottest deals in golf and of course the clubs featured in today's video find the link to the hot golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers
but it is this situation which has basically made the three wood redundant in my bag and that's from the fairway because I really just don't like playing them traditionally that sort of lack of loft the longer shaft and the combination of trying to pick it up of tight lie with that lack of loft has been a real issue for me and meant that I've decided to not have one in the bag but this thing is different the main reason being yeah, it's got 16 degrees aloft which is a great start off position but it's the fact that they've done something with that CG and I assume it's way back in their head which is meaning this is launching incredibly high and it gives me an option that if I fancy three wood then this could possibly be the way to go because let's see if we can just execute a shot first of all and back up what I'm about to say and just how high launching this Big Bertha range is. And also let's mention the ball speeds at the same time because that has absolutely ripped off the face and bounding on a little bit, tugged a little bit maybe down the left hand side and that's something I'm also going to talk about which is that offset element but in terms of now an option to put in the bag, if I want a three wood then this is something I would really consider because it's got that extra loft, it's got that CG way back and all of a sudden I can start to have a three wood in my bag that allows me to play a confident shot from a tight light on a fairway and I've not been able to say that for quite some time. So I'm going to hit one more shot from the fairway because I want to talk about the one negative for me personally in a whole Big Bertha lineup and that is the amount of offset that is on each of these clubs because it's significant in the fact that it is really sort of visible and noticeable. This whole range is one of its main things is its anti-slice, a slice correction I think is the terminology that Callaway use and it definitely, I mean I don't care what anybody else says, it works, you know what I mean, it d definitely works against your fade. But for me the issue is, and I fade the ball, is I like to have the control, I like to be able to fade the ball and with this it sort of takes away that ability uh, to a degree. And it also has me sort of adjusting alignment just a little bit when I'm stood over the ball and that's not something that I would like to be doing. I want just a natural position uh, adopted at address as soon as I put the club down. So that's the one negative that you've got to be aware of that is offset on these clubs that is going to not bother some but for others it would be really off-putting. Anyway, one more go from the fairway and let's see if we can get another high launching Big Bertha 3 wood and the answer is yes I mean to a degree where it sort of defies its loft yet again just to how high it pops this thing up and the ability to do that with a 3 wood is something that makes this a whole different club and a whole different option for so many average golfers so my final word on Big Bertha 23 3 wood is um, impressive and potentially something that you would look to put in your bag if you're insistent on having a three wood. My own personal preference still would be having hit the three wood, the five wood and the heaven wood. I still think the standout fairway wood within this lineup is that five. Because of its adjustability, you can decrease the loft and take it into a sort of uh, almost a four wood. You can add a couple of degrees and make it into a heaven wood. And you can't quite do the same thing with this three wood. I would again personally look to um, add a couple of degrees of loft maybe certainly one degree of loft and make it just a little bit weaker to be even more flexible if you like than the standard three wood. Look it's an option it's really impressive in terms of its performance I said they do three things high launch yes incredibly well forgiveness without doubt and then ball speeds is probably the surprise that they've thrown in there and this is still super quick and super long as well at the same time so it's an interesting combination you've there then got to decide does a three wood really work for me in the bag for me personally I'd still be a little bit undecided but I do think this is an option that you can now seriously consider right that's me done as ever thank you for watching let me know if you've tried any of the Big Bertha 23 range currently your feedback is always welcomed and shared amongst your fellow golfers so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow night